Hello, it is Star Grace and episode three of Star Grace in Space. <laughs> um, I keep thinking I'm gonna work on that title, and it just hasn't happened. So we're just gonna keep it like that for now. Anyway, welcome. We are at the wormhole Freeport that I happen to live in, and I decided that it would be a great time to set up my planetary interaction for this uh, character. I've had two characters living here for a number of months now, but I have been neglecting getting the third one set up because it's pie and it's a lot of clicking and it's kind of boring. But I figured I would stream it. Maybe that would make it a little more palatable. So, one thing you should know about Pi is you don't actually have to go anywhere. You don't have to fly to the planets. You can do it all from the safe comfort of uh, your tether, basically. If you, as long as you know what planets you're gonna be using and whatnot. Um, I've already got, I've, so I'm in, I think it's called Nepithio, is the ship that I'm in right now. I've got it loaded with, uh, command centers. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the agency. And I'm going to go to resource harvesting. And I'm going to go to planetary. And there's a list of all the planets and what they all have. So, I can see I have a plasma, a barren, a gas, a temperate, and a storm. There's only one plasma planet, and it looks like I'm going to want to get either suspended plasma or noble metals. So normally what you would do, if you want to min and max this, is you would look up, there's a bunch of websites, you would look up pi profitability and pie chains and figure out what makes the most isk and you would try to produce that. Um, I don't really care too much what I make. I just like to make things. I don't use them. I don't, I don't produce things very high up the chain or anything like that. So there's a website called evehelper.pages.dev and that's what I use to help figure out what I want to make. Uh, so let's see, we have a plasma planet here. I can mouse over, I don't have it set up so that you guys can see it, but I can mouse over the plasma planet. I can see that um, it would be good for me to make Chiaral structures and Chiaral structures use non-CS crystals. Non-CS crystals can be made on that plasma planet right there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is right click this and select view planetary industry. And then I'm gonna go into scan and go into non-CS crystals, move this around and make it as small as I can make it. We'll probably build somewhere over here. Uh, let's, we'll build right here. Yeah, this looks like a good spot. All right, so we're gonna put down our command center. Your command center does not need to be anywhere near your machines or anything like that. You can put it wherever you want. So we're gonna put it there. We're gonna build it. We're going to submit this and then we're going to upgrade it. So we're going to upgrade and we're going to do it as high as I can go. I've only got skill to four right now. You should get it to five if you can. There we go. We're going to submit that too. All right. So it's going to cost a little bit of isk. Now we're going to leave that. We're going to do our next planet. Uh, let's see here. We've got barren. We've got two barren planets. And if I mouse over, let's see, barren. It looks like, hmm, it looks like precious metals. Move these around. Okay, so it looks like precious metals. Um, and precious metals, 
Where is that? Precious metals uses noble metals. So who has the higher noble metals? This guy does by a little bit. All right. So we're going to view planetary industry. We're going to scan. We want noble metals. And we want to reduce the weight. Do, do, do. Okay, so mm, this gives us options. Let's go over here. We're going to build. Again, you don't have to put your command center where you're actually building your stuff. We're going to build that and submit it. And then we're going to upgrade it. Upgrade. All right, so that's two of them down. Oops, we need to submit. Again, it charges 4.2 million. Down. So the reason I do pie in a wormhole and not anywhere else is because they have a set tax of 4.5%. If you do it in high sec, you get much fewer resources and you pay a lot more in taxes. Um, so these um, wormhole free ports are amazing. Uh, they have a whole bunch of different ones with different um, like different systems. Mine happens to be a C2 with a high sec static. Um, it's nothing fancy. It's not a place you would necessarily want to live out of long term unless you're just bouncing around wormholes, which I tend to do 99% of my Eve playtime. So, all right, gas. We've got two gas planets. What can we do with a gas planet? Uh, it looks like maybe we want to do electrolytes. So for electrolytes, we want ionic solutions. Mm. Do either of these gas planets do that? So this one does. Who does it better? This guy does it better. All right. So we're going to right click. We're going to view planetary industry. We're going to scan. We're going to go to our ionic solutions. Oh, we've got a nice band of it down here. And we're going to build our command center. Did I? Okay, I did hit record. <laughs> I had to make sure. All right. And we're going to upgrade. All right. That's three down. Next, we have a temperate. What can we make on a temperate planet? Um, proteins, it looks like, is the best. Again, this is this will fluctuate and change week to week anyway. But for now, it looks like proteins, which is complex organisms. So, oof. This temperate barely makes any at all. But that's okay, we're going to use it anyway. I'm not really, this will be my sixth character with Pi, so it's not really that big of a deal. Let's do complex organisms, see if we can, so nothing is lit up right now, so let's move it until we get, there we go. All right. Now let's get a command center up there. Let's upgrade it. Like I said, lots of clicking. All right, and our last one is a storm planet. What can we make on a storm planet? Uh, it looks like electrolytes is the best bet right now. So we want, again, ionic solutions. Okay, so I guess, wait, no, that's a storm planet. We need, oh, I guess, yeah, okay. Storm planet it is. Where are we? There we go. Ionic solutions. Let's scan for our ionic solutions. Ooh, all kinds of them. Let's turn that back down. There we go. Oh, that's a nice band there. We'll go there. Boop. And upgrade. Okay. Now. You can also do this cloaked, 
So if you don't have a station, that's okay. Warp off to a random place, a safe somewhere, cloak up, and you can still do all of this. I just happen to do it tethered. If you're doing it tethered, you know, maybe check D-Skin every once in a while just to make sure someone's not going to knock you off your tether. If they're really determined, they can definitely still get you. When you get to this point, you know what? Just go dock. Docking request accepted. You don't need to be out in space anymore. You don't need to be out in space to put down the factories or anything. So go dock up. We're going to close this. I have it set to outside view. Um, it's just easier on my computer if you're wondering why it looks that way. So we're going to go to industry. We're going to go to planetary industry. Let's start doing the fun stuff. We're going to view our planet. We're going to go back to the scans that we had already done. So we know we're making non-CS crystals. Um, and that was for Chiaro structures. So what we're going to do first is put down a launch pad. Then we're going to put down a storage facility. Then we're going to put down an extractor. We're going to try and put these as close together as we can. going to cost you money every time you submit your plan. Now we're going to create a link and we're just going to link all three of these together. I'm going to submit that as well. Now I like to upgrade one of these. There we go. And now we've got our extractor down. So we can start setting the program. I set it for 24 hours, but if you're not checking every 24 hours, I'd set it to three days. That's a comfortable amount. What's up, kitty? I hear ya. So we're just gonna set this to 24. Again, so much clicking, so much clicking. Non-CS crystals. Okay, so you can see all the little heads have popped out. We want to move those into the white. Throughout the week, you might have to rotate them and move them because the resources will get drained in a wormhole on a 24 hour schedule, I try for at least 1 million total. But I mean, if you get a little bit less or a little bit more, you know, that's all fine too. So we're gonna start extraction. It says not routed. So what you're gonna do is click on product, click on create route. And what you do is click on, oh wait, okay, let's go here. Click create route, click your storage, and click create route again, and then submit. So now what's going to happen is these little doodads out here are harvesting your stuff. They're going to bring it to this extractor control unit, and then it's going to ship it to the storage facility. All right. Part two. Now we need the industry facility. So now we need the actual little factories. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now we have eight factories that are going to take what you're harvesting and turn it into P1. So we need to link all these together. like to link them down in a C and then you can link these to this and this to this there okay so now you have to tell your factories what you want them to make so they're going to be making chiaro structures for me this so you install the program and then you want to tell it where the product is going. So it's going to me over for me, I mean, over to this airplane launcher thing. So you click create route then submit. Now you have to do that for each one. So you click it, install, airplane, create, submit. Click it, install, airplane, create, submit. Click it, install airplane create submit click it install airplane create submit and 
install airplane create submit. Okay, I was doing it too fast. We click too fast. <laughs> this is what I mean by Pi takes a lot of clicking. Install airport create submit. Click it. Install airport create submit. Okay. We're not done yet. So now our extractors are extracting and they're dropping it in the storage facility. And our factories know that the end product should go to the um, launch pad. But we need a way to get the materials from the storage facility to the factories. So for this part, you click the storage facility, click routes, sort it by type so it says incoming, create route, click the first factory, click create route again, and submit. Okay, so now you see it's yellow. So now you have to click, what you can do, what I do anyway, is click the storage, routes, incoming, create, factory, create. Click the storage facility, routes, incoming, create, factory, create. So you always have to make sure you're on the storage facility first. Click route, click incoming, create route, click the factory, create route again. Now when you click submit, there, now it just did all those factories at once. All right, let's do it again. So I'll click on the storage facility, routes, incoming, create route, click the factory, create route, submit, or Click on the storage facility, route, incoming, create route, factory, create route, storage facility, route, incoming, create route, factory, create route, storage facility, route, incoming, create route, factory, create route, submit. There. Okay. When your pie looks like this, it's done. All you have to do from here on is pick this stuff up. I do it once a week. You can do it as frequently or non-frequently as you want. It will eventually get full if you don't pick up the stuff. You can also launch it to the uh, launch pad and there's extra storage there. And there you can see the tax rate for the customs office. So that's one planet done. Now we have to do the rest. It goes the same way though. You can do it all from inside. So we just view the planet. We'll go to scan because I've forgotten what we're making here. This? No. Maybe? No. No. Alright, so we must be doing noble metals. Alright, so first we'll do a launch pad. And we'll do a storage facility. What kitty? Then we'll do an extractor. This way it covers both of the white areas. And we'll submit. It'll charge us a little bit of money. We will link those together. We'll upgrade the route on the extractor. I don't know if it's necessary to upgrade it. Um, I typically upgrade it so that it can, because it's dealing with a lot of product and it's the only chain that really is. All right, now we can install our program. We're gonna do it for 24 hours. You're gonna click because there's no other easier way of doing it. It's such a pain in the ass, I know. Okay, our resource, which I've already forgotten. Hmm, what was our resource again? All right, we're making, we're doing... Okay, hold on a sec, let's... What is this again? Okay, we're doing noble metals. And that means we are making precious metals. Okay. 
there is there's our noble metals it's set to one day we'll get all our little unit heads there they're overlapped right now so we want to fix that aim for at least a million uh, bits in a 24-hour period. You can see we're over, we're at 1.1 million right now. What's up, Giddy? I hear ya. Wah, baby. All right, so you don't want them touching because it'll affect how much you're earning. All right, we can start that. No. What, baby? What? Yeah. Okay, so we have our products here. It's not routed, so we have to tell it that we want it to go to the storage facility. There. And submit. What's wrong? Huh? What? Okay, so now we're extracting and everything's good. Now we have to... Oh, my headphones just told me it's low battery. Okay, so we'll just finish off this planet and then I will stop that I suppose so we need a basic industry facility when you're making the higher tiers of pie when you're combining like different planet products and making p4 etc you need the um, the advanced industry facilities but for this stuff you just need the basic one three and four there we go okay we're going to link all those together. It's really hard to see the planets since they've changed the graphic on them. Oh, I just realized I've been playing in low settings. Well, that's not fun. I'm going to have to make sure I change that for the next episode. Okay, I think that's everybody linked. It should be. All right, so now we have to link, or we have to tell the factory what we want it to make. And I've already forgotten. What are we collecting again? We're collecting noble metals, so that means we are making precious metals. Okay, so we want a program for precious metals, and we want it routed to the airport. So you can click submit at the end if you remember what you're doing. So all I'm doing is clicking on each factory, installing the program for precious metals, routing it to the airport or the like, I know there's a real name for that thing. But come on. Sometimes the buttons are tricky too and you'll think that you've clicked create router and you haven't. So if you're if you're used to like playing those factory creation games, this works the same way. You need an input and an output for everything basically. All right, so our factories know that they want to make uh, precious metals, but now that we need a way to get the precious metals to them, right? So now we click on the storage. Now we create the route from the storage for the noble metals to each of the factories. I don't know why we have to click create route twice. So we click noble metals, create route, we click on the factory and create route, and then we click submit. So I'll click on the storage. Create route, factory, create route, submit. And we got three more to go. Oh, see, don't do that. Don't click on the factory. Click on the storage. Route, create route, factory, create route. Storage, create route, create route. There. So when you have it looking like this, your factory is all set up and ready to go. And that's all there is to it. 
So go through and finish off all the other planets. And then I will do another video showing exactly how I reset my reactors and going to pick up my materials from the wormhole freeport. And um, I guess I can probably also show the process of how I bring them to the trade market afterwards. So that'll be another episode for another time. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was useful or helpful or entertaining in some way at least. And I will see you next time. Take care.